Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be demonstrating the upgradability of the Alienware X51 desktop PC. One of the main selling points of this PC was its sleek small form factor. I personally don't need to compensate for other areas with excessive displays of large technology. So this is a pretty good fit for me. This is how it compares next to an Xbox 360 in terms of size. So it's a cool small form factor PC. This PC came with the GT545 graphics card, which was a pretty good card for 2012, but going into 2013, we need something with a little bit more punch. Enter the GTX 660. This is the largest graphics card that is endorsed by Alienware to use with the X51. Some people have managed to use the GTX 670 with the Alienware, but due to power concerns, they have to underclock the GPU so much that you can just overclock a GTX 660 or GTX 660 Ti to achieve similar performance. So let's unbox this graphics card. Alright, this is the card itself. PCI Express. And the driver software CD. One thing to keep in mind when upgrading is that you have to have the 330 watt PSU. This is how it compares to the 240 watt PSU it regularly comes with. This is the first computer I've ever upgraded. Let's see how fast I can do this with only one practice run. So the time is now 8.49. Let's see how quickly I can do this. First thing you have to do unscrew the screw that is locking in the right side cover. It's right here. The cover should slide right off. Now you can disconnect the lighting cable. This is what the interior looks like. Uh, this is the optical drive. This is the graphics card we need to take out. Two screws on opposite ends of it. graphics card should pop right out. Disconnect the power. Alright, here we go. The GT545. Let's take out this plastic thing, then uh, open up the top lid, then hit this white thing. Car pops right out. OK. 
kind of show you the interior real quick. This is the hard drive. All right, now we're gonna put in this baby. GTX 660, this is how it compares to the regular GT545 it came with. All right, we have our GTX 660 in place. Let's close the lid. Put this plastic thing in. Connect the power. Drop it in. Okay, now that we've dropped the graphics card in, okay, that's all secure. Gotta re-screw those two areas. Reconnect the lighting cable of the cover. And we are done. Let's see what time it is. It's 9.09 p.m.